Okay, so this is lesson four, and this is perhaps the best lesson, um, the most important lesson for you to really learn. So I hope what we've gone through so far hasn't been too much information for you to absorb. If it has, go back and watch those videos, but this lesson you need to be up to speed to be able to handle this one. Um, and, it's, and it's honestly not too hard, it's just that it's important you understand this. So now we're working in the bottom right hand corner, which is the comment poster. And because we have this big list of URLs, we're able to actually now post on them. Now, the way the comment poster works is you have a bunch of inputs here in the right hand side. So names is a, bunch, a list of names with which the blogs will be posted under. You want to have a big list of random names and the emails that are attached to this blog post and you want to have a big list of random emails. The website attached to this um, post as well, you want to have as um, your website, so you'd like to have a list of your own websites with which you want to post for. And then you want to have a list of your own comments. And finally, you want to have a big list of blogs with which you're going to post on. Now, starting at the bottom here with the blog lists, we have it in the URLs harvested up here. So we could do two things. We could export this URL list to a text file and then we could open that text file down here in the blog list section. But we can skip that and just quickly go straight to the transfer URLs to the blog list for commenter. So 155 URLs have been posted. Now we come back up to the top here and we have a number of different settings and the main and most important one which is um, what I'm going to teach you right now is the fast posting method. Okay, so next with the fast posting method, we all only need to come up with this list of things in the end here. If we change it to slow posting, we need the same inputs. For trackbacks, we need a different number of inputs, your blogs, the excerpts, and that's something I'll cover in a different lesson. And ping mode and check links. So Scrapebox automatically adjusts. But for the fast posting method, we need all five inputs. So what I have here on the side is a pre-built list of these things, okay? I've got a list of names that I've just randomly put together in a text file and I've got a list of emails that I've randomly put together in a text file. I've put a list of websites together, so just google.com and yahoo and then I've put together a comment. Now the way the comments work, and this is important for you to understand, is that most comments when people do mass commenting in this form generally just say something quite generic like you've got such a great site and that's the general idea that you know you hope that the 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 blog owner will be that happy that someone thinks his website is great that he'll approve the comment. And what I've got so far looks quite confusing, but it's actually really simple. So every comment's on a new line. So I might say, really good site. Thank you so much for your time in writing the posts. And that's just the one comment that would show up on everybody's page. However, the beautiful thing about Scrapebox is it comes with an inbuilt spinner. And what a spinner does is it replaces words randomly so you can keep each post looking somewhat unique. And the ideal thing to do is spin it to the max. And what I've done is basically spun every single word in this above comment. Now this comment down here, what I'm going to do is have it um, a little less spun. So this is just because I'm being a bit lazy right now, but if I really wanted to, I would sit down and try and think of an alternate word for every single one of these. So I might say, really good sites or blog. And you need to have it specifically in this format here. And so one way this would show up is really good site, thank you very much, blah, blah, blah. And the other way it might show up is really good blog, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. So I might spin another, um, spin another couple of words. And I might say, instead of really, I might say very. Instead of so much, I might say very much. Instead of time, I might say effort. And so this can automatically be spun every single time. So what I'll do is I'll save this text file. Okay, and the websites and the comments we've been through all of these. Proxies isn't relevant for this section, proxies was back here. So these four are what we're working with here. So I'll go to names and I'll automatically do it through here. I'll put the names into there, I'll put the emails into there, and I'll put the websites into there and so on. So names, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to look for names. 
I'll go to emails, I'll do the same thing. Websites. And comments. And now I've got everything uploaded, and all I need to do is hit start posting. And down the bottom right hand corner here, it'll show me my successes and my fails. Now I'm using a proxy list that we've only recently updated, so hopefully my success rate should be something decent. Anything less than a 10% success rate is something to worry about. Ideally, between 10 and 30% is your ideal success rate for um, free proxies. And it's higher when you have paid for private proxies, but I'm going to assume that if you've just bought Scrapebox, you're not gonna go and invest in private proxies until you're comfortable with the system. So when I hit start posting, it'll start flying through this list for me. It'll do it really quickly because we've only got 155. And if I get anywhere between 10 and 45 of these, I'm, ha I'm very happy. If I get even 15 of these though, that's not too bad. And that just shows that obviously when you do this yourself, you're not gonna go for 155 URLs, you're gonna go for 155,000 URLs. So you can get as many pot as possible. And this takes a little bit of work, but it, it's honestly, you know, a, a thousand, maybe even a million times quicker than doing it yourself manually. So when I hit start posting here, Scrapebox goes to town. So we're working our way down the bottom there. And I might just pause this and come back in a second. Okay, so Scrapebox is done. And as it finished, it gave me another option. It said Scrapebox encounter blogs that it may be able to comment on using the slower method. And that means the slow posting method just here. And this is actually a um, an ideal way to do it if you have time and it increases your success rate quite a lot. I'm going to say no now because we don't want to go through that. Um, actually, I might just say yes just to show you the interface. Ideally, it'll have all these websites here and then you just hit start posting and it'll go through and actually read each of these blogs or spend a couple of seconds on the page. Um, and then it will try and make a post and it'll usually time out after 20 or 30 seconds. If it, if it does so, that's a failure. And if it posts successfully, that's a success. So I'll abort this and I'll close this because I'm not interested in doing that. So quite look here so far, we actually only had a 10% success rate and that was actually quite bad. So usually um, we would expect about 10 to 30%. So at the moment on this thing here, we were on the lower 10%, but that can probably be expected because we were using quite a niche niche form of blogs and we're also using specific brands of sites um, that may not be the best to post on. Ideally we would have got um, about 40 successes at this point. Now in a couple of days what you could do is go back and check the links of these successes. First you'd have to export all posted entries and you might save that as a text file to the desktop over on the side here and you might name that posted or whatever. And you'll come back in three days, you'll upload it, and you can do check links. Maybe not even three days, maybe a week. And I, the idea here is that just because it was successful doesn't mean that it's going to show up on the website right away. Because the way WordPress works is it, um, administrators need to approve the comments. And they can turn this function off, but most won't. So what they'll do is they will keep the uh, settings so that they need to approve comments manually. And then you need to hope that your comments are approved. And I can tell you right now that they are approved if your comments are good and you don't look like you're a spammer. So after we've had that, even if we just had 10% of um, these work, then you know that's one or two backlinks for five minutes work. And I'm telling you right now that if we'd made this a massive scale thing, we could easily get between 100 and 1,000 backlinks from um, letting Scrapebox run for a full day. So that's the introduction to the comment poster method. Um, I wanted to show you the slow, slow method very quickly and then just quickly explain the check links section. Now if we look on the check links as well, only two of these sections are highlighted. The first section is we want to put in a text file with all our own websites that we want to check our links for. And the second is a list of all the websites that we believe we've commented on and we actually want to check those websites for our links. So we'll do that in a few days, and that's how we'll come out with commenting. Now, I've run Scrapebox overnight. I've run it, and I've 
got up to yesterday I ran it and I had about 50,000 successes from um, 300 and throw about 300,000 um, runs so that's quite a decent amount of backlinks that you can achieve and of course these aren't all going to show up straight away so these might be expected to show up over a six month period you know you'll have really lazy administrators who don't come on every day and check and administrators that have lost interest and won't even improve the comments at all so don't expect them all to work out but even if a percentage of them do we're going to get a lot and lot a lot of backlinks I mean it just beats going to forums yourself and posting and then hoping that Google finds those posts this is just such an efficient way to do it but it is a numbers game so you do want to hunt for you know up to 50 to 100,000 URLs maybe even a million URLs that you can post on and as I said before the key things to know is that with private proxies you will get a high success rate but it's absolutely not necessary and the other thing to note is that with uh, with um, with your internet bandwidth you want to have a very high bandwidth or at least um, I, know I would say at least 50 gigs but unlimited would it be even better so check with your internet provider and see if you can upgrade your plan um, these days you know things can actually your internet plan can be quite cheap so if you can upgrade because you want to make the most of Scrapebox in the full month and run it overnight and, and do scraping for you alrighty so that's the end of the commenting lesson check back for more we're gonna release another few free lessons these are going to be quite powerful and educational so I encourage you to make sure you make the most of them thanks for checking in guys